Thanks. Okay, now Colin McCarthy and Shane Ross are addressing this in the Sunday Indo. Uh, it, there are endless articles in the Business Post. Um, the Daily Mail is covering it, tax, etc., etc., etc. From the coverage that um, that you have seen, Stephen, uh, your reaction to it? It's it's very interesting, and I'm, I'm I'm part of a group of people who are very interested in this in this notion of debt forgiveness called New Beginnings. Um, Shane Ross I- initially runs off and says we shouldn't let the banks be the administrators of any debt forgiveness scheme. Um, they're, they've proven that we shouldn't trust them with our piggy banks, let alone something as important as this. Richard Kern, in fact, disagrees and says, no, it should be the banks. Uh, who, case who by case. Case by case. Now, I, I think it's very important. It's very important that the public listen uh, and understand this. No one is asking for a blanket debt forgiveness scheme. It would be horribly inequitable. It would it would mean that people like me, who are tenured academics, get away with something when we I can easily pay my mortgage, yeah, despite the fact that I'm in negative equity. Okay, um, but other people are in really really serious. Uh, Straits. So I, 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 I have a couple of them here, and we might talk about. Um, th- there are there are several types of people. Uh, people who are in unsustainable mortgages. For example, we'll call them Louise and Mark. They borrowed 270 grand um, from a subprime lender at 8.6 percent. They're both unemployed, in arrears of 20,000. Um, that means that means that if they'll pay an extra 100 euros a year for the next 22 years, even if they get jobs again, um, they're probably their mortgage is probably unsustainable. They probably I can't ever service this mortgage. And I think once we as a people realise that there are people in homes who will never pay their mortgages, and once we face up to that fact, then it's just a case of deciding what to do. Mm. Um, there, there's another a couple, Siobhan and Pat, we'll call them. Um, uh, she's a guard. He was in IT. Um, and they borrowed 590,000 euros for the dream home. It's always, it's always the dream home, actually. Um, well, every they, home is in a way, they, you they, know. They can't service the loans, um, but there's one earner there, but she's on less. And she's not getting as much overtime and stuff like that. Are these candidates for restructuring, even if they can service some of it? Uh, Gronia, 32, she's separated. She's got two kids. It's, it's separation, um, marital breakdown seems to be a feature of a lot of these. Uh, she's got loan, uh, loan of 265,000. The partner's paying nothing. The jerk. Um, he, she, well, maybe she's been he able to pay. She's been able to pay. Uh, she should be paying thirteen hundred euros. She's been able to pay, to pay eleven hundred euros up to this point. She's borrowed from everybody at this point. Like you know, she sold the car. It, it, the, the, the notion that, that comes across in the papers that you have kind of cute whores running around throwing money into different bank accounts. I have not come across a single case of that. No. You have people who borrow foolishly, but. In, in all cases that I've come across in my own opinion, they if you are trying that, honestly to yeah, work it out. If you take the couple that were in IT and the guard that, that borrowed the 500, presumably they figured that, you know, that the guard that would get increases in salary as sure. she w- went up through the system, that mm-hmm. he would get increases. Of course. So that within the climate of that time, it, it wasn't um, reckless on their part. Marion, they were, they were positively encouraged to borrow. I, I, people are missing this point. I'm going to make it and make it very underlined that it was the banks and the boards of the banks that encouraged the lending across the economy. Why? Because they took bad funding to do it. Temptation funding from the institutions of Europe. And they're the institutions that now hold, uh, got redeemed in full on bonds and remain holding about 45 to 50 billion of bonds that should not be redeemed in full according to the valid academic uh, analysis arguments and moral arguments of, of, of commerce. And Morality capitalism. rarely seems to come into this. But there is. Well, in business... No, it's, it's morality... Stephen, Stephen Donnelly's point well, it's, it's, the, actually today. But, but it should come into it. Stephen Donnelly writes an excellent mm. article and I'd advise all the listeners to get it in the Sunday Independent mm. and read it. Tell me you were trying to get in. As well. We were talking about the government's honeymoon. I think this may be the business puts an end to the honeymoon because uh, for the last 18 months the banks have held off and they haven't been pressing through. They've got their hit list ready. I think huge numbers of people are going to be thrown out of their homes. Uh, in terms of what you're saying, Peter, I don't believe we've, we have the power to do what you're suggesting, that if the Department of Finance or the government decided to get into debt, uh, uh, to, to debt forgiveness, Europe would tell us to stop. 
Uh, the second point. I and Colin McCarthy um, makes the not point. Not Tom, Tom, no, hold Tom. on a second. No, well, no, if you take affirmed. the point that Colin McCarthy makes today, yeah. we've recapitalised the banks. It has cost us a fortune. Yeah, I speak to We're Colin regularly. Yeah, well, uh, well, I'm very sure glad. Some of the talk. <laughs> 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 but let me just finish. Well, what he's writing about today <laughs> is to say, <laughs> do we want to end up having to recapitalise again? And we haven't even got to hold the on, point that the, the markets have already times, factored. The just markets just have already factored that in. Just a second. We also haven't got to the point that in the Sunday Times editorial, which says that having put all this money in, the banks still aren't lending. Ronan, you've been trying to get you in know, now. We've, we've I, just won't, about I won't take up too much time because I'm conscious that no, I have experts you, either just, side of me, but I'll make this small <laughs> point. If you look at this issue through the prism of what a just society demands, you have to look at this. You have to say, look, the, the, the increase in credit year on year before the collapse was something like 25% that, that of, of credit you know, from banks. That, te- that tells its own story. You can't, on the one hand, say that people who were in the profession of risk management and risk assessment and who were lending professionally, that on the one hand they get bailed out, whereas other people who went with the culture and who in good faith, sometimes foolishly, and some of your examples bring that out, but who in good faith relied on the superior knowledge of the overall system and are now in severe trouble. You can't can't say that those people should be let swinging. As a matter of social justice, something has to be done. I'm Ooh, aware of the problems about moral hazard, Ooh, but I think the answer to that problem is that you target it. You target it by uh, assessing in what situations there will be measures taken, and obviously it isn't going to be open to everybody. Okay. Okay. Now, you, no, we have the question? conversation, but it's 12 o'clock. I have to go to the newsroom. I'll come back to it after, after, tw- after the news. Welcome back to the programme. Now, uh, we are going to give another couple of minutes, uh, please. Just hold on the bell a minute, folks. Um, Celia Larkin, you were quiet on all this about the debt forgiveness and uh, mortgages and yeah, banks I, functioning. See, see it's, it, you know, we, we can get into the, the real technicality of it and it has its merits, but there are people out there in a terrible situation and that's the real problem and that's what matters to people on the street. And I think it has to be case by case and it has to be, um, each each individual has to be looked at. And I appreciate the fact that people feel, oh, well, I'm paying my mortgage and why should somebody else get off the hook? And I appreciate that people feel a bit peeved by that. But you do have to look at it from, 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 from a human point of view and from a sympathetic point of view. And there will have to be debt forgiveness, but it will have to be on a case by case basis. Mm. And you can't legislate for that. I don't think you can legislate for it. And I don't think that you can have very definite guidelines either. I think it has you to be. You do, Stephen, I gather. It's debt write down. There's no okay. forgiveness of this. There's nothing. People haven't well, done anything term, wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly, a write down yeah. to the commercial right. connectability You're of right. the loan. You're and right. by the way, the, as the regards terminology this, that people yeah. use make it emotion. No. And you're yeah. right. And if yeah. somebody, say the healthy people of Ireland said the, to people who had contracted mm. HIV through no real fault of their own, yeah. semi-innocently, well, would you say, well, they don't deserve to get medication to bring them back to just barely okay. normal health yeah. because, you know, I'm healthy, they're tough luck. Okay, it's Stephen, you wanted, to talk about, you wanted to talk about um, yeah. um, re- um, guidelines. Yes, I, I think... One of the important things now is that we've, I think we've moved on in the debate from should we do it or not? The answer is yes, we're going to do it. The question is how are we going to do it? Here's how I see it working because again, it's, it's down to the practical nuts and bolts of this. Uh, we will have an outside agency that will force the banks to, uh, assess all of the 40,040 Which homes one? in, well, this is the thing. It's probably going to have to be a new one. What, the Red Army or something? Well, I, no, don't, know. I don't know. It's going gonna, it's gonna to have to be pretty Tom, in the old days, the Red Army was a No, it's not fine as guy. It's not fine as Tom, it's not a Red Army. You haven't lived long enough on this island to think that this can happen. There was a Land Reform Commission a long time ago. If you can set up NAMA in 90 days, you can do this. But NAMA has enormous critics. It does, of course. I'm one of them. Absolutely. But at the end of the day, who would you rather have this happening? The banks? Um, if the banks do it themselves, then they have to be very closely monitored by the regulator. Uh, uh, they have to have, hang on, Tom, hang on, Tom, hang on, let me make a point, then you can come in. Uh, after, after they're closely monitored by the regulator, they should have a, a menu of options from which they must take. For example, if you have somebody who's, whose mortgage is not sustainable, then perhaps they will have the deeds taken off them and then they can rent it back. If you have a, if you have a situation where the banks can take uh, some of the equity, 
in the house uh, and then uh, m- reduce the mortgage to a, a sustainable level for the individuals and then perhaps if the, if the property market appreciates the bank gets their money back they already have this money to do this uh, in the six billion on the recapitalization program a third option is to simply uh, keep them going just keep to take the interest off take the arrears off and let them going. The fourth option is some kind of personal insolvency. There are many, many ways to do this, to qu- and none of them is going to be ideal or popular. The point well, about one, it is, oh, one you're all quite right. right. But, but the point about it is, that this, right. a, this is not pie in the sky. This is working in yeah. UK. Mm-hmm. It's working in Sweden. It's working in the US. B, it needs to be done because, uh, and the first. Or but can I come back to the point that is made in a number of articles today? First of all, we put the money into the banks, and it would appear the banks are not lending. The whole point of putting the money in was to make them safe, to make them. Um, compliant, etc., 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 but also to have a functioning banking system, and it would appear either actually or anecdotally, one never knows the difference sometimes in these things, uh, that is not happening. Mm-hmm. So w- we have, as it were, failed on that. We've put in all this money, and if we allow the horse to run away again, we just have to put the money in again. No, well, no, no, listen, Marion, this is why it comes back to the second level. Uh, resolution of the problem. The problem, if you think about it, there were six banks originally, and they created loans, as Roland said, in a massive expansion of 25% a year over a period of about five mm-hmm. years to, in, into a bubble. Mm. It burst. Now, when that bursts, you look at the assets of the banks, which is the loans they made, and you say, what's collectible? And if you're realistic and really tough about this, you write them really robustly down. It didn't happen for two years. It still isn't fully happening. Therefore, it's very hard to do an estimate, if you don't do that, of what capital is needed. We've done a sort of a hand-to-mouth, long journey of trying to work out the capital requirements of the banks. Yes, yeah. okay, up and the stress bit. testing, we were told, Marian, I'm was as to you, tough as it gets. No, well, to Marion, this is now, and you're talking to somebody who followed this from the... Yeah, uh, we the all battles. did, actually. No, we didn't. Yeah. We yes, didn't. We did. Marion, there was a first You're PC... You're not the only person that followed this. I'm the only person who said publicly at an Oireachtas committee more than a year ago that the first PCAR was way off and wrong. And I was laughed at. Laughed at. And I was, and you know what? The more recent PCAR is only coming up to the levels that I said was needed okay. back a year ago. Okay. And there is still maybe room for more. Okay. Now, why is this important? Yeah, well, oh, okay. Do, can, I, can, I have to move on. Yes, can Tom, I be finally, deeply depressing yes. about this? I don't believe any of this is going to happen. I don't believe the political class and the civil servants who delivered us into this have the balls to go and make a radical decision like what you're talking about. Now, my heart is with what you're saying, Steve, but Tom, I do not I've believe... Do you want to know okay. something about what I have to move on to move on in the 1980s, Sorry, guys, we're going to have to move on. I do beg your pardon. Now, many of our listeners.